We weed. We weed all over the place. Come up first for a long, long time. Let's bring up Doc. Run. Doc. Yay, Doc. All right, Doc. Doc, run, everyone. Hey, Doc. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I see most of you are wearing your uh, your green. And uh, oh yeah, I, I, I got to tell you, Cat Boy, that outfit, I'm 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 repulsed and strangely attracted at the same time. I'm really not, sure how, <laughs> <laughs> really not sure how to react here. Okay. Um, before I get started, uh, uh, Lauren was talking about smart cars, and everybody knows I work for a Highline luxury car dealer. And uh, this is a true story, okay? Now, most cars nowadays don't have keys. They have buttons you push, okay? Right. Just a start button, mm -hmm. and you carry, around, you carry around a key fob, which is kind of mm -hmm. like a remote control. And the key fob has to be near the car, or the car won't start. It's a security device. But we had a customer call up, and they said, I lost my key fob. What do I have to do? I said, well, you have to, or you, you have to buy a new key fob, and then we have to program it to your car. He says, well... How do I do that? I says, well, do you have another key fob? No. Okay, well, then you're pretty much fucked. You have to have your car towed here so we can connect our computer up to your car's computer, and they can talk to each other. Do I have to do that? I said, well, yeah, you have to. He said, well, how do you connect it up? I said, well, if you want to get technical, it's all it's all wireless. We hook up a Bluetooth connection, and we our computer talks to your car's computer. He goes, well, hell, in this day and age of, uh, of electronics, Bluetooth makes sense. How about I just lay my headset on the on the dashboard and you have your car, a computer call mine up and they can talk to each other? <laughs> <laughs> Not that smart a car, okay? All right. Um, uh, quick updates. Uh, the book is going to be out. We're about two weeks behind. It should be out on the streets in um, April, okay, uh, in paperback form. It is currently... 72,000 words, about 400 pages, so it'll be a decent-sized novel. Um, and I'm working on uh, the next trailer, and I'm using a new program that some of you may know called Unity. Catboy, you probably know what it is. Uh, we're using yep. it to create crowd faces. Unity has a new program. Oh, yeah, program. Unity's gorgeous. Um, mm -hmm. And like everybody else, I'm about 15 years too old for anything that complicated. So I called, <laughs> up, I called up customer assistance, and I'm, I'm trying to ask this this – person how to make it work because you start off with a face and you can make the face man woman old black white yellow oriental anything you want and i can't get it to do anything except wink at me right so i call the guy and he says well if you just take and you just slide the transgender trans a transracial morphing tool <laughs> you'll get the results you want <laughs> like, you Gender. pimple face son of a bitch who are you telling me you know i can't even find <laughs> it. I said, where do i start with file and start sir this program was meant for people who really know what they're doing. And I said to him, <laughs> and I said to him, well, if I knew what I was doing, I wouldn't be talking to your fucking ass, would I? <laughs> 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 but, but that brings up, you know, that brings up people that are unreasonable with, with customer assistance, okay? These are some actual calls to customer assistance lines, okay? Uh, customer. I've been calling 7001000 for two days and can't get through. Can you help? Where'd you get that number, sir? It's on the door of your business. Sir, those are the hours that were open. <laughs> <laughs> this is an actual call to Samsung Electronics. <laughs> the telephone number for Jack. I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand who you're talking about. Well, on page one, section five of the user guide, it clearly states that I need to unplug the fax machine from the AC wall socket and telephone Jack before cleaning. Now, can you give me Jack's number? Okay. Um, here's a caller inquiring about legal requirements while traveling in Europe. If I register my car in France and then take it to England, do I have to change the steering wheel to the other side of the car? <laughs> actual phone call okay here's a directory inquiry i'd like the number of the argo fish bar please uh, i'm sorry there's no listing Are you sure that's spelled correct well used to be called the bargo fish bar but the b fell off <clears throat> okay <laughs> <laughs> here's tech support call uh tech support um sir i need you to right click on the open desktop okay 
Did you get a pop-up menu? No. Okay, right-click again. Do you see a pop-up menu? No. Uh, uh, okay, sir, can you tell me what you've done <laughs> to this point? Sure. You told me to right-click, and I wrote click three fucking times. What do I got to do next? <laughs> 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 Can you see the OK button displayed? Wow, can you see my screen all the way from over there? <laughs> Here's a caller. I deleted a file from my PC last week, and I just realized that I need it. So if I turn my system clock back about two weeks, can I get my file back? <laughs> and they breed. Okay. Um, here's, here's, here's a flash. They breed. Fox News bows to pressure, okay? In response to President Obama's complaint that Fox News doesn't show enough black and Hispanic people on their network, Fox has announced that they will now air America's Most Wanted twice a week. In honor of our host, I have a uh, bevy of blonde jokes for you, okay? Oh, no. Yay! <laughs> Two blondes oh, going to out, Disneyland. Lauren. Two blondes going to Disneyland. They're driving on the interstate when they saw the sign that said Disneyland left. They started crying, turned around, and went home. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Two blondes living in Oklahoma were sitting on a bench talking, and one says to the other, Which do you think is farther away, Florida or the moon? The other blonde turns and says, Hello, can you see Florida? <laughs> <laughs> There's a blonde with car trouble. She pushes her BMW into a gas station. She tells the mechanic it died. After he works on her for a few minutes, it's idling smoothly. She says, so what's the story? He replies, uh, just crap in the carburetor. She asks, well, how often do I have to do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. The police officer stops a blonde for speeding and asks her, for, stops her for speeding and asks her very nicely if he could see her license. She replies in a huff. I wish you guys would get your act together. Just yesterday, you took my license away, and now you want me to show it to you? <laughs> <laughs> At the doctor's office, a gorgeous young redhead goes into the doctor's office and says that her body hurt wherever she touched it. Impossible, says the doctor. Show me. So she took her finger, pushed on her left shoulder, and then screamed. She pushed her elbow and screamed some more. She pushed her knee and screamed. Likewise, she pushed her ankle and screamed. Everywhere she touched made her scream. The doctor said, you're really not a redhead, are you? Well, no, she said. I'm actually a blonde. I thought so, the doctor said. Your finger's broken. The <laughs> 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 patrolman pulled alongside a speeding car on the freeway. Glancing at the car, he was astounded to see that the blonde behind the wheel was knitting. Realizing she was oblivious to his flashing lights and siren, the trooper cranked down his window, turned on his bullhorn, and yelled, Pull over her! No! The blonde yelled back. It's a scarf! Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> a Russian, an American, and a blonde. I don't know where they got that from. We're talking one day. The Russian said, we were first in space. The American said, we were first on the moon. The blonde said, so what? We're going to be the first on the sun. The Russian and the American <laughs> looked at each other and shook their heads. You can't land on the sun, you idiot. You'd burn up, said the Russian. To which the blonde replied, Hello, we're not stupid. We're going at night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finally, finally. Um, wow. Uh, a, girl, a girl was visiting her blonde friend who had acquired two new dogs and asked her what their names were. The blonde responded saying that one was named Rolex and the other was named Timex. Her friend said, Who ever heard of someone naming dogs like that? Hello, they're watchdogs. Oh. 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 There's got to be a whole load of people in Washington playing marbles somewhere. I just guarantee it. <laughs> I was at my high school reunion, and I saw uh, uh, you know, a bunch of friends and former schoolmates. I was talking to a couple of them. And I was sitting at a table where um, – the guy was yawning, and, and the, the wife was, you know, she was excited. She wanted to do something. Uh, the wife gets up, and people start dancing. And there's a guy on the dance floor living at large, break dancing, moonwalking, backflips, you know, buying drinks for people, the whole works. So the wife turns to her husband and says, see that guy? 25 years ago, he proposed to me, and I turned him down. The husband says, looks like he's still celebrating. 
<laughs> the older we get, the fewer things seem worth waiting in line for. Mostly because, in my case, I forget what the fuck I'm waiting in line for in the first place. Okay. <laughs> when you're dissatisfied and would like to go back to youth, folks, think of algebra. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Being beautiful, or being young is beautiful, but being old is comfortable, isn't it, Thinker? Right? <laughs> yes. First you forget names, then you forget faces, then you forget to pull up your zipper. It's worse when you forget to pull it down. Oh, boy. Now, uh, <laughs> two guys, one old and one young, are pushing their carts around Walmart. I love Walmart. When they collide with each other. The old guy says to the young guy, sorry about that. I'm looking for my wife, and I guess I wasn't paying attention where I was going. The young guy says... That's okay. It's a coincidence. I'm looking for my wife, too. I can't find her, and I'm getting a little desperate. The old guy says, well, maybe I can help you find her. What does she look like? The young guy says, well, she's 27 years old, tall, with red hair, blue eyes, buxom, wearing no bra, long legs, and wearing short shorts. Now, what does your wife look like? The old guy said, fuck my wife. Let's go find yours. <laughs> <laughs> A woman was playing golf when she took a big swing and fell. The party waiting behind her was a group from D.C., included Barack Obama. Barack quickly stepped forward and helped her to her feet. She thanked him and started to leave to when he said, I'm Barack Obama, and I hope you'll vote Democratic in the next election. She laughed and said, listen, I fell on my ass, not my head. <laughs> and for us older people, here's how to call the police when you're old, okay? An elderly man was going to bed when his wife told him that he'd left the light on in the garden shed, which she could see from the bedroom window. He opened the back door to go turn, on the, to go turn off the light, but saw that there were people in the shed actually stealing things. He phoned the police, who asked, is someone in your house? He said, no, but some people are breaking into my garden shed and stealing from me. Then the police dispatcher said, all patrols are busy, sir. You should lock your doors. An officer will be along when one's available. Guy said, okay. He hung up the phone. He counted to 30. He then called the police again. Hello, I just called you a few seconds ago because there were people stealing things from my shed. Well, you don't have to worry about them now because I just shot and killed them both, and the dogs are eating them right now. Yeah. He hung up. <laughs> Within five minutes, police cars, a SWAT team, a helicopter, two fire trucks, a paramedic, and an ambulance showed up at the house and caught the burglars red-handed. One of the policemen said to the old guy, I thought you said that you shot him. He said, I thought you said nobody was available. <laughs> <laughs> and to get people going here, uh, i got to get moving. Another round, uh, and I'll, I'll give the floor up to somebody who's greener than I. Uh, uh, this round uh, of uh, late night comedy, this is the lightning round political edition. <clears throat> Another scandal for Hillary Clinton. They're saying she used a private email address when she was Secretary of State, which means the government couldn't archive and preserve her emails. Then Obama said, don't worry, we saw them. We see everybody's emails. Hillary yeah. Clinton used a private email address for the official state business. Experts say that if this violates any federal rules, then she will still be president. Israeli <laughs> Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu gave a speech to Congress. It aired in Israel with a five-minute delay. Israelis had to wait five minutes to hear what their president was saying, or as Americans call that, watching Obama live. Every speech uh, I make takes three hours. President Obama said he wants the United States to establish an embassy to Cuba by April. When asked if Cuba would establish an embassy here, Obama said, what do you call Miami? Joe Biden would speak to the nation's largest gay rights group during a human rights convention. Then on the, uh, the next day, he's scheduled to speak to him again to apologize for whatever he said at Friday's speech. Okay. <laughs> Jeb Bush is getting his presidential campaign in gear. Last week, he said he supports a path to citizenship for immigrants. He said, I believe in America where hard work and dedication can lead to any job that your brother and dad once had. A DEA agent <laughs> speaking out against edible marijuana. He said it could lead to a lot of stoned rabbits. He says rabbits will eat the pot, and that's grown at marijuana farms, and start following the banned fish around the country. Oh, my God. <laughs> Today, during a speech in Washington, uh, Netanyahu repeatedly referred to Congress as my friends. It was a move that had many in Congress Googling the word friend, just to make sure. Nancy Pelosi <laughs> said she was near tears during the prime minister's speech to Congress because it insulted America's intelligence. So please, nobody tell Nancy Pelosi about The Bachelor. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> crying for a week. During the CPAC conference, Rand Paul told the crowd it was time for a new president and people need to make the change. Of course, most people agree with him since that's how term limits work anyhow. RNC chairman uh, Rince Priebus criticized Joe Biden saying he can't control his mouth. That's kind of like someone trying to say the name Rince Priebus, which sounds like <laughs> a drunk person trying to say rented Prius. <laughs> the FCC issued the net neutrality rules yesterday. President Obama posted a thank you letter online addressed to the millions of people who helped support the change. He finished with a heartfelt plea. Could somebody please tell me what net neutrality is? In New Jersey, <laughs> Chris Christie joked that he gave up the New York Times for Lent, but then his priest told him he had to give up something he'd actually miss. And no. <laughs> as of midnight last night, marijuana is officially legal in our nation's capital. Or as President Obama put it, clear some space, Michelle. Barry's getting his own garden. Thanks very much, <laughs> folks. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Let's give it up. Yay. That's great. Yep. And I got to tell you something. In a half hour... Nance, who's in the house, been here the whole time, who is one of my favorite singers. She's here, and a lot of her friends are here, too. You look around at the people that aren't usually here. No, I'm joking. And uh, but she <laughs> is here, and it's going to be terrific, all right? So that's our big St. Patrick's Day celebration.